There's been in more hit sitcoms and movies than I've had hot dinners so far this week. It's the <laughs> brilliant Ricky Gervais and Warwick Davis. <laughs> I must explain straight away. Yeah. I'd usually run down those stairs carrying Warwick. Do. <laughs> I've, I've pulled a muscle in my back working out yesterday. Serves me right. Oh, I've had a doctor out. Really? Do you want me to rub something in the back? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Straight away. I'm only up for you, nice. Oh. I'm on painkillers, anti-inflammatories. Oh, oh, God. Hey, sit, sit up, Warwick. Sit, sit, sit up, up What please. do you mean, sit up? Where? Closer? Yeah, closer. All right. Yeah, sit along. I don't know whether to sit forward or back. Well, what do you want? I mean... I quite sits, like if he sits back, you can see the soles of his shoes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is a problem, because yeah. if I've trodden in something, everybody knows about it. Oh, so, no. You don't have sit a, watching the show going dog shit. Oh, you've got, <laughs> you've got a little bit of blue oh, tack. You're bloody trodden in. It's something. Oh, no. <laughs> I'd best sit like this, Alan. Yes, yeah, you I'll sit like that as well, because well, I've got a bad back. Oh. So See, what was you doing? Was you doing like I was squats? working out to try and keep fit, because I eat and drink too much, so I work out like Rocky the next day, because I refuse to give up anything. The only reason I want to get fit is to live longer. The only reason I want to live longer is to eat more cheese. So that's the... That's the... <laughs> but I'm fine. It just gets better. I just do it now and again, yeah. so yeah. Have you ever had that one where it actually locks and you're like that? Yeah. yeah well, no! No, it's yeah. dangerous! Uh, no, because I'm walking down I mean, the street and people are going, have a day off, Alan. You know, you're on the yeah. telly now. You know, I can't. You're back. Yeah. Well, um, you can always drink through it. Black Tower. I'll mix it with the painkillers. I'll be slurring like Kerry Katona. Go on, let's have some. <laughs> I want you to see eating something, Ricky. Look how you're wasting away, love. Oh, I know. Well, I'm going to get fat because I hadn't worked out today and I just had a pizza because I was depressed. Oh. So, <laughs> so I started, love. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, and you met on extras, didn't you? Yeah, he phoned me up about extras, which was um, a phone call <laughs> that I wasn't expecting. No. Um, just at home, having a normal day. And then this guy phones up and says, it's Ricky Gervais on the phone. And... Uh, I said, oh, yeah, because I thought somebody doing an impression of him. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, last thing I'd expect is him to call up. And, um, <laughs> and then he laughed, right? Which nobody laughs like Ricky no, Gervais, do they? No. So I was convinced then, yes, it is him. And um, then he followed up by saying, I'm writing this new series and um, it's called Extras. And would you mind uh, if in one of the episodes I accidentally kicked you in the face? <laughs> I think I said it'd be an honour to be kicked in the face well, by you. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's an offer you couldn't refuse. So started a beautiful friendship. And then life's too short started. Um, well, yeah, um, out of the blue, um, I didn't keep in touch with Warwick. He, he got paid and that was enough. So, um, but... Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, he asked me for a quote for his um, new autobiography. Still available. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Thank you. And, yeah. uh, it's I, doing I, well, your book, isn't it? I saw it in the uh, in the news age. No, not in the news. In the oh, oh. In, <laughs> in the bargain bin. No, no, no I know it weren't in the bargain bin. <laughs> What's up with it? Oh, you are an arsehole. Anyway, <laughs> twisting everything I say. But did you buy one? Oh no, I just looked at it, flicked through it. <laughs> you know, it's like you look in the back, don't you? See if you're actually included, Alan. Just Carr, in case. Alan Carr, yeah. yeah. You know. Well, you would L be in the next you one. You liar! I never did that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Was that an impression of me? No. <laughs> no. It was Doc Cotton. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he asked me for a, a, a quote, and I gave him a rather cheeky one, which he used, surprisingly. Yeah. I, um, I said, um, pound for pound, Warwick Davis is one of the funniest people I've ever met. Oh. Um, and <laughs> that sort of spun, because we sort of include something like that in, in the series where... Yeah. ..he wants a quote and, and uh, you know, we're taking the mickey. So, uh, it all came from that, really, and, um, and Warwick just started, you know... The first story he ever told me is, I think, well, you tell it. Well, this well, actually happens yeah. to work in real life. If I go shopping with my wife, for example, uh, she'll go off into a clothes shop, not for me, so I go and look at the magazines <laughs> or something like that. I mean, no top shelf ones, obviously. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm married, what are you thinking? <laughs> um, so, 
And then after a while, I get bored of that, so I go and find Sam in the clothes shop. Yes. As soon as I walk in the door, they go, oh, she's over there, near the changing rooms. And I'm thinking, quietly to myself, how do they know I'm with her? Do you know what I mean? They've oh, made an assumption. Yeah. My yeah. wife's short, by the way, just let you know. And, uh, but then, when I told this to Ricky, of course... Um, and the real Warwick Davis goes, thanks very much. Yeah. yeah. But the fake Warwick Davis in this doesn't let it lie. Oh. So he can't stand it. So he starts, what, what, you know, how do you know I was meeting her? Yeah. Because this Warwick Davis, it, it, you know, he plays a fictional version of himself and he's very different. Uh, in the real life, Warwick is charming. He's probably the most stable together guy. <laughs> the one in this is oh. a whinger. Yeah. Oh. He's <laughs> manipulative. <laughs> He, um, and in he's real... a bit of a dick, if I can he say. Is. No, he is. No, he is. <laughs> he is he's a, a complete dick, no. and, and he's and he's ripping off other dwarves. In this, he, he runs a <laughs> he runs a, an agency for dwarves, which oh. which Warwick does in in yeah. real oh, I know. life. I know. But in this one, he takes all the best jobs for himself, and he rents those out as bowling balls and <laughs> fire <laughs> cannons. Well, we've got an exclusive preview of next week's episode. <laughs> I mean, I, when, when you're watching it, some of the experiences. Please tell me, no, as people genuinely asked you to dress up as an Ewok. Um, <laughs> tell me about the garden centre. Oh, yeah. I was out at the garden centre recently uh, with Sam, and um, uh, the manageress came up and said, um, hello, um, we're, we're having a sort of open day near Christmas. We're going to have uh, Santa here and everything. And I didn't know whether you'd like to come along, being sort of a local... Uh, a local person, <laughs> local sort of celebrity, and I said, oh, great, yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll come and support the event, it's for charity and everything. She said, yeah, and, um, well, can you bring your elf costume as well? And, uh, sorry? Oh, and, no. um, yeah, I, she sort of presumed that I might have one, you know, yeah. in the yeah. wardrobe, along with the <laughs> Seven Dwarfs costume and, uh, and Paddington Bear costume, you know, <laughs> the, the whole set, yeah, but, uh, which is great, I mean, of course. But this, yeah. is, this is the point, isn't it? It's their prejudice. They, they've yeah. got these assumptions. That's why they're worried when he's actually doing a real acting role, as opposed to being a, a, a yeah. one of the yeah. seven dwarves they'd or be being right five. If he had, like, the old hat on and the little shoes oh, going high. Exactly. Oh, 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 they oh, get yeah. that. Like, oh, that's nice. Exactly. Yeah. They understand that, yeah. right? And it's usually always the people who complain, yeah. they're always complaining on someone else's behalf. Yes. And also, because just because you're offended, it doesn't mean you're right, you no, know? No. It's a great show, and Warwick's brilliant in it. And I say fuck them. And people are loving it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not a show about Warwick being short. Yeah. And Warwick's had some stick from other members of the uh, um, small people community. What do you call it? Is it dwarf community or small people community? I mean, you, you never could, know well, do no, what no, to no, say, you can, do you? You could call it the dwarf community or the little people community or small people community. Oh, I right, mean, okay. there's, there's lots of different ways of... Of yeah, terming it. Yeah. You know, when people come and have a chat with me sometimes, they can't help but say the word short. They try not to, yeah. but the more they try not to, they end up saying short, small. We had a guy come round uh, once <laughs> to our house to, to do a quotation to do some landscape gardening, and I said, I'd love a, a little wall around the patio area here. <laughs> oh. and, um, and he said, Oh, you mean, um, well, you mean a dwarf? Uh, 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 you mean, <laughs> you mean a, a wall with not too many bricks in it? <laughs> <laughs> The correct term is a dwarf wall, yeah, that's what it's called. Wall, but he couldn't yes. say it, and he got so tangled up over this. Um, I don't think he ever sent a quote, actually. No. <laughs> Me and Warwick are mates, and I tease him. You yeah. know, uh, uh, there's, there's a clip yeah. that were, you know, I, on YouTube where I dress him up as a frog. Oh, we've got and, that here. Oh, great. Well, oh, people say, oh, funny. people say, oh, you shouldn't dress him up as a frog. I say, why? I dress up my editor as a frog yeah. and a pratterpillar, and I tease, <laughs> you know what I mean? I yeah. torture Robin Ince, the comedian, and I torture Carl, and he's six foot one. I look down on all my friends equally. You do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. This is funny. What is, could you hop? Could you hop up I don't the think I can hop. I don't oh, you, well, you can have a go. Now we've got the... Uh, see if you can hop up the stairs. <laughs> oh, life's too short. Coming soon. So that um, that rather flies in the face of him saying I'm a great actor, doesn't it? Really, <laughs> so, you know, it, it doesn't really. Also, also that, does it? that's nothing to do with the show. Warwick just came round my house. Yeah, and um, and he said, "Why have you got a frog outfit that fits me?" And I said, "I had it made especially." <laughs> See, <laughs> so that's dedication. Oh yeah, you're very dedicated <laughs> to making people look ridiculous. Absolutely. <laughs> and you've just signed up to host uh, the Golden Globes again. Yeah, third time, definitely last. 
Um, but um, I had an absolute blast last time. Because over here in Britain last year, when it was all... It was very much like Chinese whispers, depending on what you read, depending on what you know, like, oh... It, Everyone was horrified. Was there anyone who was genuinely really upset by it? I don't know, but I think some people must have been to, to start the rumour. But I, I think I made a decision, and I'm going to do the same this year. Do I pander to the 200 egos in the room, or do I pander to the 200 million people watching around the world? Yeah. And it's that one, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you don't often apologise to your critics. But why did you feel you had to say sorry about Mongate recently? Um, because uh, I, I was wrong. I didn't, I didn't use it in that tour. The, the, there's still a rumour going round that I was saying Mong aimed at Down syndrome people. Mm. Never said it to mean that. Never would. Uh, uh, we use that term, and I know loads of people that do, they say, you know, monged out, like I'm, you know, I'm mm, drunk, or yeah. it's a drug term, or, oh, you Mong, meaning <laughs> you're an idiot, you're, yeah. you know. Uh, and uh, the derivation is clearly from that, but... I thought it was like 25 years ago when the last time that was... So, so yeah. what I... I, I Words uh, do change, innit? It's well, like I gay. I did it in... Uh, gay, exactly, yeah. yeah. That, that no longer means happy. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm feeling so gay today. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like today, where I hurt my back, I was bent out of all proportion. Yeah. But it's a bit all queer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we could do this all night. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no... And I, like I, my I, act. Even in my stand-up, I said, you know, I used the word and I explained it didn't mean... Down syndrome, right? Yeah, that was two yeah. years ago. Yeah. But it's it's like you know. Um, yeah, people love a scandal. They don't love they? a scandal. They love a scandal. And um, uh, you know, I think <laughs> this was the best, most concerted backlash yet. I think, wasn't it? Mongate going into Dwarfgate. <laughs> Dwarf. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But again, you know what I say. Dwarfgate. That's what you can have in. <laughs> Got a good idea. Dwarfgate. That's what you can have in your dwarf wall. A dwarf gate. Yeah. yeah there you go. <laughs> Always working, that's always that's working. That's very good, very good. Well, it's absolutely wonderful talking to you. Thanks for coming on. You've been on loads of time. It's always a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. Well, David, thank you for Friday night with me, Jonathan Ross. Welcome to Alan Carr, China! <laughs> 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 Alan Carr, China! Oh, Jesus. I've just been messed. Oh. Don't patronise me, Alicia.